Hello and welcome to Open Boosters. We're going to be opening up a Guilds of Ravnica booster box. But what I wanted to talk about today, well, also I'm going to be opening it. But uh, we're going to be talking about $10 million prize pool offered up for Magic the Gathering Arena. Ah, uh, the craziness of $10 million. And they're going to do it for Arena, and they're going to do it for Tabletop, and they're going to have, what is it? The Pro League, 32 top ranked Magic players playing, and we can root for our favorite player. Fantastic. They already have a Mythic Invitational, right, for $1 million in prizes, but that's an Invitational. So, and they have more details on coming up on that. However, when you lump Arena in it, and you also got a free boards giveaway, if you want that, you can get that. That's going to be fantastic for you. But, uh, craziness. I like Arena. I think the software is great. It's fun. And then uh, people are going to jump on that and start buying cards thinking they're going to have access to $10 million. I'm thinking that most of you who buy packs and all that kind of stuff probably won't have access to that $10 million. So try to keep that in mind and keep it a check and play it as a video game. You know, when you buy a booster pack on Arena... It's worth nothing. So you buy all those gems, that's great. And you get all those cars, that's awesome. But the real value of those cards is zero. It's not worth anything. You can't trade it and you can't sell it. So the value of your cards is zero at that point. However, you could potentially get something, maybe. But it's very unlikely. Because you're competing with everybody who plays Arena, including me. Not that I'm that hard to beat. I'm just saying that uh, I'm on there too. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm even that great at it. You know, because, you know, just because I play the game doesn't really mean I'm good. Anyways, I like Arena. I think the software is good. I just want to make sure that everybody's, you know, the $10 million announcement's pretty exciting, but we just need to keep it in check, you know? You got to keep that in check. I mean, if you buy a box of Guilds of Ravnica, you can get some value back, even if you open up the cards. You know, you can you can hit the Phoenix, uh, the Arc-like Phoenix. You can hit the Doom Whisperer. You can eat... Uh, you can eat... <laughs> don't, don't eat the cards. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was a misstep, misspeak. Uh, Assassin's Trophy. You can you can get the Assassin's Trophy. You can't eat the Assassin's Trophy. That's a terrible idea. Don't ever eat your cards. It'll make you sick. You don't want to do it. Just trust me. <laughs> I, sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, misspeaking is one of the things I do best. Craziness. Anywho... We're going to open the Guilds of Ravnica box. We'll see what kind of value it. But if this was all arena cards, it would be worth nothing. That's what you need to realize. Now, the arena game is good. I, I suggest playing it for free around the clock. Get those coins, and then you can buy the booster packs. That's the best way to do it, because then you're not losing anything. And if you get up there into the ranks, cool. That's awesome. You know, the more you play, the more you get. I'm just saying. Anyways, I need to start playing more. <sighs> Ever since they said... We're going to restart everything. And then I went, oh, man. You know, and I stopped playing. So I need to start playing more. I'll open some packs. I'm not going to videotape it and open it, but I'm going to open some packs, and then I'll start making decks, and then maybe I'll live stream some of my arena play craziness, and then we can see if I can get up there and destroy everybody. Number one! <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have that much time. Anyways... All right, let's get to this opening. It's not a bad, the arena is not bad. I, I, I like the video game itself. I just don't want anybody to get crazy, donk off a thousand dollars and, you know, not get anywhere. Because <laughs> you can have all the cards and still not even come close to winning. Anyways, just uh, let's go ahead and open that box. All right, cool. Let's have some fun. All right, here we go. There's the glove. And then uh, let's just go ahead and open stuff. All right, I guess that was kind of like a, a dad announcement kind of thing, trying to make sure everybody is uh, in, uh, in the right frame of mind. Matt's gathered $10 million. I'm all over it. 
<laughs> but you know, I had to see some. Oh, it is pretty exciting. Hopefully it'll make everything grow and get bigger and plumper and juicier. I don't know. I just want Magic the Gathering to continue on forever. Don't you guys? Okay, cool. We're up to a guild gate. I wonder why they put all guild gates now. Oh, <laughs> Well, we'll just start off with the biggest card. Ta-da! The Arc Black Phoenix. See? Already value town. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Okay, well, I'll stop here. Anybody want to buy so the rest of the box? We're good. We made our profit for the day. <laughs> Arc Black Phoenix on the top. So fun. Got the big one out of the way. Let's see if we can. Okay, cool. I guess we're playing red blue. And Assassin's Trophy. Holy Moses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so. <laughs> Who wants the rest of the box? Individual pack sale. Here we go. Let's do this. There's nothing more to get. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Uh, well, there's the Doom Whisperer. We can get that. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> what do you do after you open the two best cards? <laughs> well, Open Boosters opens the rest of the box. That's typical. <laughs> Ah, oh, that should have been the other one, yeah. Oh, okay, Swift Blade. There it is. Oh, man. <laughs> That's cool. Well, it can only get worse from here, right? <laughs> so if you want to skip to the end, that's fine. I, I won't blame you. And the hatchery spider. There he is. Hatchery. Yep, I'm going to start streaming arena. I guarantee in January I'll be streaming arena. I guarantee it. Um, because I want some money too. <laughs> Ten million dollars. But don't get carried away with it, guys. You know, when I play poker, I don't win all the time. It's terrible. When you buy into those tournaments. And camaraderie. Da -da -da. Yep. I have been on the bubble, which means you're the last person before being paid. Seven times. <laughs> I was the bubble. Seven times. I've played a lot of tournaments when I was uh, younger. I've cashed in a few, but being the bubble is actually the worst because you've played as long as everybody else who got into the money, right? And you lose Dawn of Hope. Da -da -da. And everybody else gets paid but you. Usually they're just about a little bit over their... Uh, a little bit over there uh, no, still all day and then you get nothing <laughs> um, silent darts silent but deadly <laughs> was it dark in the neck for you, sir. Alright. That was an arrow, though. Dun, dun, dun. No air gates. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Necronic Wind. Bounty of Mark. Still going strong. But yeah, I like playing poker. It's fun. 
played yesterday and lost. That's not a good story. <laughs> Expansion, explosion. But I mostly play cash. That's that's where the money is anyways, because it's a cash game. But I don't get too deep in that either. I play one, two just for fun. It's entertainment. Pelt collector. Wonder how many pelts he has. 15, 16? I don't know. How many pelts do you need to consider yourself a collector? What is he doing with all those pelts either? I mean, is he using it for money? Maybe he's trading with the next town over. Now we had a foil. Strands. Citywide bust. Watch out. They're taking everybody down. So what do you guys think about the $10 million prize pool? Think it's going to be fantastic? What do you think about an Invitational? Invitational. Invite only. That's what I think. Da -da -da -da. Or should they do it like poker? Anybody can play and anybody can win. Which do you prefer? Invitational or anybody can play and anybody can win? I think I think every single person. Okay. Every single one of you will be like, um, everyone can play and everybody can win. <laughs> I think that's I think that's the best. Invitational. I mean they really just cut the they cut the uh, field of play. I'm not just, you know, I'm a professional, but I don't want to play against other players. <laughs> Can we just have one by ourselves? <laughs> Sorry. You know, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if we could just eliminate everybody else who's playing. Thought down phantasm. Thousand Year Storm. That's a name, right? I like the name. Mythic, and I lost my uncommon. <laughs> Come back here, uncommon. We need you. Legion War Boss. There he is. Make a tournament where everybody plays with the exact same deck. <laughs> ah, I bet some years it feels like that. There's our healer hawk. Okay. But when they put more money into something, that's going to be good. The announcement actually would spark interest in Magic the Gathering. So, that's always good. Lich. The mythic Lich. Under, uh, under Realm Lich. There he is.
What's your favorite arena deck you're currently playing if you're playing arena? How many of you just prefer to not read up and just make your own decks? That's me. I typically just make my own random stuff and uh, go and see if it works. I think that's the best. It's the funnest anyways because you realize you created it yourself. Even if it loses, you created it yourself. Mausoleum Secrets. Oh, oh, really? I got two in the box. That's sweet. Cool. Wait, nice if I got a third. <laughs> Assassin's Trophy, two in the box. Now I just need the foil version. <laughs> I don't have three in the box. Okay. And again, I would have actually bought this on Arena. And play the cards. <laughs> Nothing wrong with buying stuff. As long as you know the results. Okay, cool. Mr. Thousand Eyes. How many people like Undergrowth? I think it's cool. The Gate. Ritual of Soot. That is a terrible name, right? Ah. Should have put a giant chimney on it. Unless I'm reading it wrong. <laughs> that could be, but I'm reading Soot. Right. Wouldn't be the first time that I read words wrong, so. Prey upon. Nice little foil. Midnight Reaper. Nice little zombie knight. Card's good. I mean, if you want to blow a bunch of weenies up for four, it works. The ritual is not the not this night thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That might have been confusing. The silencer. Sorry. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Crumba. My stack of comments is getting really high. I'm going to start a new stack of comments. The password debt. <laughs> Chance for glory. There it is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, blood operative. Oopsies. 
All right. There we go. Temple Garden. Dun, 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 dun. Huzzah for Temple Garden. Huzzah for the uncommons not falling over. Do this massive pile. Huzzah for a pack that's really hard to open. There it is. <laughs> Must be a good one. Thief of Sanity. Really good box here. Oops. So I hope you've enjoyed this opening. Especially if you stayed through the entire thing. Oh, cool. Oh, grown tune. Nice. This is a really good box. World Soul Colossus. Ah, another hatchery spider. That's, well, not good. But <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Have we hit? What we hit? I can't remember. Wow, we haven't hit any gold. We haven't hit a rare foil. We've got three packs remaining. <laughs> We've hit no, no rare foils. So one of these has to contain something good, right? All right, so, uh, yeah, all right. Well, you have missed something or something, I don't know. We'll find out. There's only three left. Saving it for the end, I guess. Divine Visitation, Mythic. Still a good box, nonetheless. Mission briefing. And here we go. Last pack. And this is a And Goblin Locksmith. Bounty Agent. Huh. No rare foil. Foil. Nope. None. No rare foil. Unless I screwed something up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who got my rare foil? Let's see. Did I miss something here? Or one of these, a foil. Nope, guess not. Wow. Okay, well, there you go. I will still do the TCG player app because there is still value here. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. We got $94.02 on the craziness, but we didn't even get a foil rare. Oh my goodness, that was weird. But I only, I didn't scan any of the foils. I just did scan the lava coil that we got, but uh, we scanned the, the rares and mythics and we got $94. And if we, we bought a box on uh, Arena, it wouldn't be worth anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> so let's have some fun out there. We'll play some arena here soon. 
and uh, hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment. Ah, the openings are always priceless. Don't forget to go check out the Beta Booster. Ah, such a great video. All right, talk to you all again real soon.